Brenda Martinez was just 23 years old when she disappeared from her home in Flint just before Christmas of 1988. Her body was found several days later at a park in Northeast Genesee County. Her death was ruled a homicide, but the case remains unsolved. Night attends David Lydon and videographer Josh Monroe spoke with Brenda's daughter about the long wait for answers. Wherever mom was going, I was going and we were going fast. So yeah. She was a lot of fun. Stephanie Belenka still has vivid memories of her mother, Brenda Martinez. She liked uh, music. We used to listen to a lot of the radio back then. She was a great host. Like I said, she, she hosted the family. She hosted her friends. And December of 1988 had all the makings of what would be another memory-filled holiday season. Brenda went to use a payphone at the corner of Fenton and West Atherton Roads in Flint on the 22nd but she never returned home. Stephanie was just six years old. There was a moment that you just remember suddenly not feeling safe. That's your comfort, that's your person. She was all I had. And then she was gone. And nobody could explain why. <laughs> Brenda's body wouldn't be found until several days after the new year at this park outside of Flint. Her death would be ruled a homicide. I think there was a long time even after the funeral and everything. You just kind of have this magical thinking like one day she's just going to walk in the door. You know, it's, it was a bad dream or it was you know, a mistake or somebody was confused. Um, Maybe she just got lost, she's gonna come back. So that was, that was definitely hard as a kid, um, trying to come to terms with something, such a big loss when you're so little. Stephanie was sent to live with relatives in Northern Michigan, all the time wondering what happened to her mom and why. We've tried getting answers for years and it's just, you just want that back. You want to be safe. You want to feel home. And so that's something that you just do your best to have for your own children because there's, you know, there's a part of you that will never understand how that happened. It's the same question police have tried to answer for decades, but the case has largely remained cold with few details made public. This is somebody that's very important, maybe not to you, but to her family and her friends. She was kind of like the glue. She held us all together and she, she enjoyed that. She enjoyed us being together. So we definitely want to try to find out what happened and bring some closure for her legacy and for my children and for myself and, um, you know, the friends and family that are still wondering what happened and why. For now, Stephanie and her family will continue to wait as they keep sharing her mother's story, hoping to one day bring the case to a close. Why isn't always the most important part, but being able to have your day in court, I guess, and look at that person and say, I know what you did, and now everybody else does too. And seeing them come to terms with that is something I think would give me more closure than anything. If you have any information about what happened to Brenda Martinez, call the Richfield Township Police Department in Genesee County. For 9 and 10 News, I'm David Lydon. And of course, you can listen to David's full interview with Brenda's daughter right now on our Unsolved podcast. It's also available wherever you get any of your podcasts.